Oh, so I thought of another thing. Um, this girl that I don't remember her name, but she was talking about social anxiety, and she divided it up in three different stages. So, and I was like, I haven't got social anxiety, but then I recognized everything that she said. Everything. And uh, if I do have it, I, I really think that I have gotten better, because it's not like that anymore, but it's been like that. And, um, yeah, that was kind of a revelation to me. But, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information, but I do have this thing that I wanted to share. Uh, when the phone rings, I have absolutely no problem with picking it up. In fact, I do have to pick it up. No matter what I'm doing, I have to pick the phone up. I mean, if I'm in the shower, I have to get out if I'm alone at home. I need to get out of the shower, dripping wet, and answer the phone. And it's extremely inconvenient, I can tell you that. Uh, um, um, yeah, but when I'm the one that sh is supposed to be calling, then I might have a problem. It depends on who I'm calling. If it's a friend, it's not a problem anymore. It used to be. Uh, oh, sorry, putting my mittens on. There we go. Um, yeah, it used to be a problem even phoning a friend. I couldn't phone anyone. I, like, needed them to call me. And even now, I don't actually call many people because I forget to. And then when I start thinking about calling old friends, then it's usually like one in the morning and I don't want to bother them. So, um, but if it was in the middle of the day, there wouldn't be a problem calling them. But if I like need to call, um, okay, even this has gotten better because it used to be like if I needed to call someone I didn't know, like an institution or like the school or you know hospital or anything. Like when someone answers and you don't know them, they're like working there, and yeah, I couldn't do that. That was impossible. Um, but that has gotten better too. I made myself do it a couple of times. Uh, not a couple of times, a bunch of times, like many, 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 many times, and I had anxiety and I wanted to go hide under the bed or something, but um, that has gotten better, and um, but now the problem is I can't, if I know that I have done something wrong, uh, and I need to call somewhere to, you know, straighten it out or something, then that is actually impossible. Ooh, the ice sounds weird on here. Maybe it's air under it. Oh well. <sighs> I'm tired. So, but yeah, I still have that problem if I know that there's a conflict and I'm not angry about it, I just know that they have a problem with me. That then I can't make the phone call. And I, I, um, it doesn't even have to be like they have a problem with me. It's just that if I know that I have done something or not done, done something I should have done, um, yeah, then, then I can't make the phone call and I need my boyfriend to do it or I need my boyfriend to force me to do it. I mean, I can do it, but I need to be like sitting by the phone gathering courage and uh, then finally make the phone call 
and F the line. It's busy. What do you do then? Mm, I don't know. And yeah, so that's my problem. And how do you stop beating yourself up over stuff you said? Um, because she said that one of the stages is that you beat yourself up over stuff you have said wrongly or, you know, you go over a situation over and over again and then finally you find something that you didn't like that you did. Like, if I had a perfectly normal conversation with someone, then I will go over and over it in my head and I find one particular moment when I was like saying something or didn't say something or made a face or uh, making a noise or not making a noise when I was supposed to and I would be like, oh, what on earth did that person think at that moment? She must, he or she must think that I'm totally crazy or nerdy or something. And, um, yeah. And that <laughs> usually that is when I'm supposed to sleep, I do that. And I found a solution for it, which I don't think is ideal. I put on my sound book or um, something on the computer, like Friends or Game of Girls or something I've already seen that like prevents me from thinking at all. So my mind goes, and then I fall asleep. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but it's probably better than taking pills, I would think. I don't know. Maybe it's very good to take pills. Maybe the best thing in the world is taking pills and be numb and not be a human being. I don't know. Maybe being human is not good. I don't know. And I'm not judging anyone who's taking pills. And I'm not saying that you should stop if your doctor tells you you should take pills, and you probably should. I don't know about that. I'm no doctor. I just know that when I'm the most sad is when I don't feel alive. I need to feel alive all the time. <laughs> and sometimes I have problems doing that. Still, I wouldn't take pills. Anyway.